let us see the components of a modern computer system a modern computer system has various components like cpu then disk keyboard mouse printers then monitor and memory cpu is the heart of the computer system cpu called as a brain of a computer system and cpu performs various operations like computations storing of data and uh, uh, holding the data temporarily cpu there is a motherboard on the computer system and on the motherboard random access memory that is ram chips are uh, are stored which act as a main memory and holds data uh, temporarily whereas there are uh, hard disk attached in the cpu which act as a secondary source of memory so cpu is called as a brain of computer it performs various activities or various task related to computations it holds the data temporarily and it has a permanent storage of data also the next is the disk so these are the various devices of a computer modern computer system and to control these various devices like to control the disk there are disk controllers to control the usb devices like mouse keyboard printers there are usb controller and to control the display devices like monitor there are graphic adapters all these devices concurrently access the memory through the common bus the meaning of the term concurrently means they can simultaneously access the memory for example whenever you are uh, accessing the system you are typing something in the notepad uh, in that case the uh, your monitor is also working and your keyboard is also working that is multiple devices can work simultaneously uh, that is concurrently in the system and this shared bus act as a the role of the memory controller is to control the various devices and synchronize the access to the memory memory is of two types that is primary memory and secondary memory whatever computation task are to be done in that case your data is to be first loaded into the primary memory that is in the main memory and once the task is done data is to be shifted back to the uh, secondary memory the primary memory is a volatile source of memory and the secondary memory is a non volatile source of memory the examples of a secondary memory are optical disk magnetic disk etc and the examples of the primary memory is ram that is random access memory the ram chips are located on the motherboards there are certain slots on the motherboard where the ram chips are installed and they act as a primary memory it is said that your computer work faster whenever the size of ram of your computer is higher why it is so because the processing will be faster if the size of ram is faster so this is a basic overview of a modern computer system that's all for this video please like share and subscribe to see more videos on this topic thank you